previously on Making the Squad. Beautiful! Eight, nine. Not the best at reading, but, but good at talking. See? You guys are the final four. Basti is the best player. Sure Let's way. go! Bang! Oh. I'll let you guys um, say your goodbyes. We're now down to the final three. With only 24 hours until a winner is crowned, the clock is ticking for the remaining contestants. The question is, who wants it the most? Obviously, three of us left, like we were saying yesterday. Whoever of us wins, I'm more than happy. You deserve it, you deserve it, I deserve it. We got here because we deserve it. So, True. whatever happens, it is what it is. <laughs> this journey has made me improve in so many ways. That is crazy. Final three, that's all that counts. I'm, I'm satisfied, I'm good. I'm very, 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 very happy. We are uh, at almost at the end of the competition and we have to take risk, basically, if you want to win. I grew up born and raised in Paris since uh, all my life. Uh, I have two sisters, two younger sisters, and I live only with my mother because uh, when I was a kid, uh, I lost my father. My grandfather was like my father to me, and I was so, 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 so sad when he passed away. I tried to be like him, you know, he was very cool, very calm, always told me the only way to success was to work and you have to work harder than the others. I played basketball for 12 years. I was really good. I played for a small town in France. Uh, the last uh, two years of my basketball career, I was semi-professional. So I enjoyed the moment and then I fell in love with FIFA. It's been one year since I stream and I began streaming for fun, you know. People love my content. Mais là on va jouer. Donc c'est parti. Je vais voir si je fais quelque chose sur l'équipe. I was thinking, hmm, yeah, maybe there's a chance to make something bigger. That's what I did and it works well for me. I only started a year ago. I'm just living a dream. For their final IRL challenge, I've called the contestants to an impromptu press conference. They have no clue that this will be their most intense challenge yet. This one will test their ability to conduct themselves professionally and measure how well they can represent one of the world's biggest esports companies in G2. The panel will be made up of G2 founder Carlos Rodriguez and Andres Bilica, marketing manager at Pringles. Although I'll be there as MC, it will ultimately be down to Carlos and Andreas to send one of the contestants home today. Afternoon. Afternoon. So, let's get into this. As you already know, Carlos here is head of G2, and on my right-hand side, we have Andreas. He is marketing manager for Pringles. You guys are ambassadors, and this press conference is your final challenge, and it officially starts now. See, that was good. See what we've done there? Now, pointed, <laughs> now. Been, been, been rehearsing that all day. <laughs> Take seven. After this challenge, one of you will be eliminated based on your performance. Is anyone nervous? Do I bring this closer? No, just leave it where it is. Okay. Press in general is very hard to deal with. Uh, tough questions, it's part of the job. Some of these questions today might be a little harder than, than others. Don't take it personal. Santi, what's next for you? Like, what's the goal? What is it that you want to accomplish? main thing I want is, I just want to come across as a nice person. I want people to just have a little chat, a little fun. FIFA now is what helps me, is what people see me with. But in the future, everything I wish I can do is things that can involve my audience a bit more. But ultimately, the common denominator is always the ambition. And I'm not sure we see that ambition. Do you think you have that? 
the only thing that's on my mind is how can I make the person that's watching the, the, their day better. What's your ambition in terms of numbers of followers? I want to reach one million this year. That's what I said. Every single time I make a video from now on, we're gonna reach a certain goal, which in this case I say 100K by the end of the year. It's not much to you guys, but I, every single time I start my content, I'm like, guys, we are gonna reach that goal. I Amenia, mean, I've heard that you were born to Ghanian and Moldavian parents. What are the traits that you inherited from your parents? <laughs> okay, well that's an interesting one. Um, obviously, Ghanaians are known to be very joyful, happy, entertaining in a way, like, sort of like showmen. And then the Moldovan side, yes, a lot more hardworking, like straightforward thinking. We at Pringles, we want to bring unexpected fun to our consumers. Mm. What was the moment where you would say that was the most unexpected fun for you? For me personally, in terms of the challenges, I would say the ones that kind of get you out of your comfort zone. I am not a dancer in the slightest, but I feel like I probably had some of the most iconic moments. It seems to me that you enjoy the showmanship more than you enjoy competition itself. I wouldn't say it's accurate, actually. If I wanted to sit there and sweat it out in a dark room with the lights off to myself, <laughs> like, I, I could Sorry, do that. Sorry, that's funny. Like, I, I could do that, but that's not fun. I come on stream to entertain people. You're actually pretty cocky. And, what's up with that? I would say that isn't the case. I would say it's more so if somebody is showing me respect, I'll give the same thing back to them. No, you care too much about what other people might think about your banter and roasting them and whatever, whether you punch down or up. There's no way 200 people are going to be happy with what you're doing. But at the same time, they're watching because they know whether they like it or not, they're going to be entertained. So, moving on to Wilfred. Wilfred. This question is for you. You played semi-professional basketball for 12 years. I've been doing what I'm doing for five years. I worked for free for two years. Sometimes in life, you have to take sacrifices. Yeah. Why wasn't you willing to take the sacrifice? At the beginning, I want to be a, a professional basketball player. I play two years semi-professionally, and I was like, no, man, you need to have a plan B. What happened if plan A is not working? And actually, it was the case. So what's my next move? And my next move was study, Fair enough. get my diploma, and work. Would you say you're an athlete? I am. OK, so why did you miss the penalty and the voter challenge? Uh... <laughs> You remember? I, 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 come on, I scored a goal in the Volta Challenge. No, you didn't. No, fuck. Yeah, no goals and you missed penalty. What? You're you gave right. me the assist. Shoot it. Yeah, oh, nice goal. I like that. OK, you might have scored a goal then. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine you've got past four or five years. How, how does your life look like? What are you doing for a living? I want to have my family around me. Marry my girlfriend, have her children. That would be great. Aww. Yeah, I miss them. They are not here, so yeah. Where's G2 there? Hmm? Come on, bring, the, bring G2 in the equation. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Man wanted him to say G2 before his wife and kids. He's savage. It's on the way. In a sentence or in a few words, why should you win this competition? If we have to talk about the gameplay, FIFA, uh, competition... Let's go! I knew I'm good. The things I want to do with G2 is build a relationship between G2 and the French people or the people who are speaking French, like uh, Belgian, uh, French, Canada, French Canada. Uh, African countries, Congo. African yeah, countries. Yeah, countries. basically, my mother came from Cameroon. I'm Cameroonian. So that's the thing I want to change. G2 Esports, of course, is about who can win the most games. So since I've been here, I've won the most games more than anybody. Bang! When it comes to IRL challenges, I've also won the most here. Bang! So I've sort of put myself out of my comfort zone. I've stepped up to it. I've won those. I've won my games of FIFA. So. If you want someone that can represent you that is at a top level at their game, but also very entertaining, then you will pick me to go through tomorrow. My ambition, oh, I can't get it in 40 seconds, man. What comes first to your mind? First to my mind? Yeah. I shouldn't be the one winning this competition. That's what comes first to my mind. I want to be the one winning this competition, but in my head, these two people right next to me, for some reason, it just feels like they're even more set to the task. That's a defeatist mentality, bro. That's mad. I would have just gone home if that's how you felt from the your wisdom bear type me. Well, that makes the decision a lot easier later. Thank you so much. You have another 40 seconds. Tell me why you joined you two. Actually, your answer, 
actually <laughs> me off. But don't give me that again, bro. Okay. If you're humble, you're humble, but don't... You eat first, and then the rest eat. Wow. I deserve to win this, and I need to win this, because I have to show myself and the people around me that I am a winner, that I deserve to be part of two of the biggest organizations in the world, and that I can make it far. <laughs> I'm getting quite emotional, yeah? yeah. <laughs> While the contestants wait on the panel's verdict, it was now decision time for Carlos and Andreas. They had the unfortunate task of eliminating one of the three. For the unlucky one, it would be time to pack their bags and leave the competition. Chaps, one has to go. One person will be eliminated. Is it gonna be Wilfred, Santi or Amenya? Having formed a close bond with the contestants, I couldn't send one of them home today. He's very unexpected, but mm. he says what he does. Mm. I like that. There was some natural presence, yeah. um, which I like with him a lot. I think he has a lot of almost hidden confidence. The panel had made their decision. Andreas, Carlos, you're both agreeing. Yes. No, no. As you can tell, I don't have the normal energy. It hurts, I don't, I don't like this. Before I mention who has been eliminated from the competition, I do want to announce the challenge winner. Um, let's give him a round of applause. The winner of this challenge is Amenya. <laughs> the person that will be eliminated and packing her bags and leaving tonight is... Will. Sorry, brother. It sucks. Um... It's honestly, it it really it was incredibly difficult. So let me... yes, and Santi. Um... As you may imagine, you were very close to be sent home today. It was like, not even like 1%. The difference was incredibly slim. And you barely were ahead of him in this challenge. So go back, recharge, focus on what you do best, and you'll succeed. I have no doubts in my mind. It was definitely shocking. And again, I've never seen a wolf react in such a fashion. He's usually like very cool and calm and collected, but naturally it's to be expected. Um, this obviously meant a lot to him. It means a lot to all of us. So I felt bad, of course, it's gonna hurt. I would, I would feel the same way for sure. Probably wouldn't react in the same way, but everyone reacts to adversity in, in different ways. So that's the way the show goes, unfortunately, yeah. It's crazy. I, I can't believe what Wilfred did. I thought I was gone. I was gonna take it on the chin and I was gonna say it costed me 10,000 euros to realize that I think I'm not good enough and that I'm gonna work on myself from now on. Since the beginning of this competition, I felt that I was able to win. Today, someone took my dream away. So that's why it's hard for me to, to accept it. Rosé's disappointment is felt by everyone and is proof of how badly he wanted to win. For Carlos, this hasn't gone unnoticed. Hello, Wilfred. This is Carlos from YouTube. Yeah. You got three minutes for me, man? I was not expecting a phone call from Carlos. I'm grateful for this because it was a tough moment for me. He gave me his mobile number. That means that he cares of me or in my future. So he gave me advices and how to be better. So I'm very grateful for this opportunity right now. The first days in the house, I made a lot of friends. Mentally, it was not easy because uh, I lost twice against Bastion. I stayed strong. And in my head, in my mind, in my heart, I knew that 
whatever happens, I can win. But it's not gonna happen. It, it's a failure today, but it will be a lesson for tomorrow. Who knows? It's the day of the grand final. For Crunch and Amenia, everything is now on the line. Today's game is going to be defined by who is the most fit mentally when they walk into that arena. I want to walk into the arena as a winner, win or lose inside, I will go outside as a winner. So that's the strategy today, man. Him and I, we are on the same level on everything. The last couple of games I've been a lot more nervous because the closer you get to the final, of course, the more you feel like you can win it now. Because the actual game plan we know already is going to be completely even, so it's going to be off the field. As they prepare to face off for the final time, both their thoughts are firmly set on taking home the 10,000 euros prize. But more importantly, on winning a place on the G2 Creator squad. So over here we have the city of London, the best city in the world. Well, first and foremost, my background is not the same as anyone here. To be honest with you, we all kind of have a common goal, which is of course winning this G2 making the squad and trying to make it professionally as a streamer or content creator on whatever platform it may be. Over here is where I come every day, 7 p.m., same time, same place. I get the light on, I look in, I make sure, am I looking good? Is the trim looking sharp? My parents didn't know about my streaming stuff. I was streaming from uni in my final year. And of course, with the parents I have, it was a bit of a tough one to be like, oh, by the way, rather than studying for final year, here I am just streaming FIFA for no reason. So what I did was I said, let me finish uni, graduate, get a very top level degree, and then I told him about the streaming. You know, when I was a young child, I swear, I used to do that. You know, I used to have my banter with other people. But hey, you know, he's taking it to the next level. Although they find it very confusing, they have definitely been very supportive. Um, of course, naturally, the, it always comes back to a case of, right, but you are still applying for jobs, aren't you? However, if I had a choice, it would be a streaming content creating full time. Welcome back to the Dome. We are now down to the final two. Huge pressure for Crunch and Amenya, knowing that these next games could ultimately determine their future. What's up? Where's this is it? This is the grand finale. How are you lot feeling? Nervous, excited? Whatever happens, have fun with it. Don't take it too seriously, but of course, we still want to win. I have to tell you, this is a game that I've been preparing the most for, so I'm Wicked. really excited to play. My intention is to obviously get a win. I know his strengths and weaknesses, having played a few times. Do I feel like I can win against Mania? Yes. Do I feel like it's going to cost every single bit of concentration for me? Yes. I don't really have any sort of change of game plan. I will play the exact same way I do. It will be a good game. I just, I will enjoy it no matter the result. Well, I tried to think of like a way to make it fair as possible. And the only fair way I could think of was doing best out of three. Amenya, you won yesterday's challenge. So you get to pick first. What team do you want to play yeah. with? I'm gonna go and back PSG again. I think I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna rely on Mbappe and Neymar to, to do the job for me. So I know I'm a guy who likes to take risks. And I've only played one game with this team, and when I played that game, it felt good. I've seen people use it and play great well against Amenia, so I'll go with Bayern. So, Carlos, is there anything you want to say before we get started? Show me the best you got, and let the best one win. Let's get it, man. Let's get it. Best luck to both of you. Enter the dome. Good luck, my guy. Mandem, are you ready? Yes, sir. Good luck. Let the game begin. It was just a very pleasant day for football, and that's Look exactly the pace. what we Oh, my so God. Good. Crunch started the strongest as he pushed for the opener, and he was inches away from scoring. Played into the centre in, of the in, box. In, in. Mm. Now, let's see what they can do here. Ooh. Second half and Amenya tried to find a response. It was end-to-end -end stuff without a breakthrough for either team. Well, that's how to do it. Until the 75th minute. The end! 
when Amenya slammed home the opener. Some great skill in the box, and it was two. Santi was left seeing stars with the final score 2 0. And the referee blows for full time. That was advantage Amenya. Stressful. It's good. Into the next game with the teams unchanged, Santi needed to find something. But it was the Londoner who picked up where he left off. 1 0 Amenya. Interception to stop out the danger. This was another close match with chances squandered at both ends. Would have been a big, big move in this game. Both knew the next goal was crucial. Well, he's given us away. And it went oh. to Amenya. He's dead! Come on! Crunch was staring down the barrel of defeat and couldn't get anything going. A goal kick. While Amenya seemed to be toying with his opponent. Can he take the chance? How did you pass it? And dribbling with it, but out of play. Really forceful play to win the ball back in that position. Not to be in terms of the finish. It wasn't Crunch's day as he missed another. And that was that. Yes! And now this is final. And Congratulations, bro. Wild celebrations from Amenya. 2 0, we had our champion. We lose, we lose. Bro, we're done with these spuds now, man. That's beautiful, man. Thank you very much. So, um, well done to both of you, man. I'm proud of you both. I said it before the game even started. But let's just go and break down the game, man. Um, Santi. Uh, what do you think happened? Because it seems like on the attack it wasn't really working for you, but when it came to that possession and kind of dominating the game, especially in that first game, I thought that was all you. I'm like a guy who only has one strategy. Mm. So like because I've played Amenia so many times, he can read me easily. He completely outplayed me. Oh, you should be proud, my man. I'm proud. proud, I'm yeah. proud, man. You know? proud. I'm, 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 I'm happy that I made it this far. I'm happy for you that you won. Sure. You know, I'm going to walk in as a winner and I'm going to leave as a winner even if I lose. Oh, good attitude, so, brother. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my performance. Good I'm attitude. happy for you, man. I good it, attitude. Man. Let's, let's hear it from your side, man. What, what yeah. happened first half from you? What do you think happened that first 45 in the first game? I knew going into it that we we're completely even. The whole competition, we've been back and forth. The same results identical. So I thought I need to get into his head a little bit. I knew he was going to do the wing play. He was expecting to come gung-ho as I have been every other game. The last couple of games, I keep on going down and having to come back. And I didn't want that. So I said, first 45, I'm not even going to go forward. Okay. So for the second half, that's when I was like, do you know what? Now I'm going to have him on ropes and like go very aggressive. And then obviously the second game, I was in control more so. I knew that he had to go for it. If I just slow the game down myself, he maybe wouldn't know how to react to it mm. under the level of pressure that we're in there. The fact that we made it this far, even when we had Basti, when we had people like Rose, Jason, Commoner, I'm so proud of both of us, man. Sure. I'm, I'm proud of the fact that we were all this time together. We started with 10 streamers from all over the world, all with one ambition to beat out the rest and make the squad. Sadly for nine, the dream didn't materialize. But for England's Dan King Amenya, it was time to claim his prize. So guys, this is why we're here. I feel like I'm more excited than you, Avenia. I'm, I'm so happy. Um, Carlos, if you want to crown the champion. Absolutely. I'm going to give this to you, my man. Enjoy it. Thank this you yours. very much. Thank you very much. Oh, oh yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Hey, brother. That is London. Come give on. it to the Come end. On. Represented London. Did it him. I'm currently feeling great, I'm gonna be honest. Like I met Carlos, met Philly. Doesn't matter if I lost my last game. As I said, man, and I'll continue to say it, I walked into that arena being a winner, and I left that arena being a winner, regardless of the result, so. For the final two, it was time to go their separate ways. For Crunch, it would be back to the drawing board with his head held high. And for Amenya, it was time to meet his new G2 family and look to the future. I wasn't that fast about the money. The opportunities that can come from winning that, the brand deals and so on and so forth, like long term, is what I find more beneficial. Let me ask you a question. What do you have in mind, you know, from the get-go? What do you want to start working on? First things first, I need to develop my other social medias to become more 
well-rounded and just grow the brand. Hopefully your team can help me with that one and then I can obviously do my own job in promoting the brand further as well, yeah. So I'm looking forward to that as well. With that 10K, if you ask me now what would I spend it on, honestly, yeah, maybe a cheeky car to be like, listen, this car, yeah, that came from G2 making this car. It's amazing for someone like myself who to see that there is a potential for people, regardless of, again, race, background, colour, whatever it may be, to make it to the top. As Amen and Carlos got straight to work, it was time for me to leave Berlin. My job here was done. For now, who will be the next unsigned hopefuls to battle it out and making the squad?